Let's try that one more time. I'll model again for you. That was a good pitch that time. Ah. Ah. Right, we, we came to Alt Bay in, in 1989. We moved up and uh, haven't regretted it at all. It's, it's a, I, I would say, a, a fairly typical Highland village. Um, very welcoming, very friendly. Um, people people uh, looking out for you uh, and particularly looking out for Helen once once it was realized that Helen had a problem and in fact it was it was when we were able to to put a name to the illness the Huntingdon's and get the help from um, the Scottish Huntingdon's Association who have been brilliant with us um, that we were able to to start work moving forward and and dealing with it yep it changed everything Helen's been having more and more difficulty with her balancing more and more difficulty with her eating. She, her muscles, uh, she has dystonia. Um, her throat muscles are having more trouble with uh, swallowing. Uh, she tends to choke on food a lot more. Yeah, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie Tell is the service to Helen. She sees Helen on the screen and she's watching carefully what Helen's doing and how Helen's reacting. Uh, and she's, she's changing what she's doing to match that and to, to meet Helen's needs. My name's Maggie Wallace. I'm a speech and language therapist a community speech and language therapist and I work mainly in the Rosshire area based in Dingwall. Well I'm doing a voice treatment that is normally applied to people with Parkinson's that I have adapted uh, both for Helen's needs and Helen's capabilities but the important thing about it is that I'm delivering a little bit four times a week so that she's getting regular input and where the technology comes in with that is that partly because of the distance but even if it wasn't that distant it it really allows for me to deliver that without wasting a huge amount of time on travel and organization uh, and from her point of view because of her condition she's doing it from the comfort of on her own to home Hello, Helen. Hello, Maggie. How are Hello. you? I'm fine, thank you. You know, Helen's a very bright, articulate person. Tom has been really supportive. He's been right there beside Helen. He encourages her beyond what I do with her. For Helen, I think, first of all, she has more control over how she vocalises. She has had a lot of feedback about when she's not clear. And I believe that Tom will tell her to use her Maggie voice if he, if she wants her to be clear. I, I was quite cynical about it to, to, to start with. I thought that, that what Helen had was a progressive disease that it wouldn't be able to do very much for her. In fact, over the course of the sessions, Helen's voice has improved. Um, I think her swallowing's improved a bit as well. Uh -huh with the, the various exercises that, that Maggie gives her. 